Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let us go today. We're doing a ranked 1v1, and I'm playing a little bit of Aphrodite. Just the smallest amount of Aphrodite. Nothing serious. I'm just kidding. It is really serious. What? Please be gentle. He paused. He asked me to be gentle, and I refuse. Anyways, I'm playing Afro because I want to go the full healing build and see if I actually get to, like, play the game. It's a little weird because I feel like he's going to have Toxic Blade. Oh, I, I don't feel like he's going to have Toxic Blade. He's going to have Toxic Blade, and he's also going to have Pestilence. So him hitting me lowers my lifesteal and me hitting him. So I don't really know how to play this out. But what I will tell you is if... I think Sprint's correct, right? Just to, like, get out of there. If I am able to get a blue buff, which debatable, debatable, but if I am able to get a blue buff, my early game is pretty pog. I didn't get any potions. Maybe I should have. I don't know. I kind of just want to bum rush my Kronos pendant. Are you going to invade me? I mean, you should. I don't know. I'm going to hold my two. Oh no, his gold went up. He's not here. Let's go. I was going to hold my two, so maybe when he presses his two, I could detonate my two, knock him back, cancel the animation, and maybe get my buff. But he went for red buff anyways, so. All that planning for nothing. I cleared his wave. Let's stun him so the archers are dump doing damage. They're dumping. You don't scare me. Also, fun fact, Aphrodite's one does damage. I don't know why it does damage. It was buffed. Well, it's kind of like Thor wall doing damage, I guess. If you really think about it. Am I scared of you? No. Wait, he's giving me this? I'm not getting my ult. I'm not getting my ult. If I'm double buffed up, I'm not scared of you. You're not hitting level 5 here. He hit level 5? Hey, he couldn't have killed me anyways. Probably. I don't know. If he could have, <laughs> if he could have, him jumping away was a bit of a, a bit of a misplay. All right, let's get this XP camp. And then, I mean, honestly, I couldn't ask for a better start. This is really, really good start for me. I got, I mean, should I, should I get my ult? Maybe. Maybe. Just so he can't insta-kill me. Yeah, I'll play it safe. I'll play it safe. Why not? It's a little boring sometimes to play it safe, but it's also safer, so... <laughs> and against a Bacchusura, sometimes, sometimes you just need safe. Alright, he's going for... Oh, I thought he was going to go for XP camps, but they're already gone. I guess he knows they're gone. Let's just do some damage. Jump away. I'm not very scared of you. Um, see if I can hit, just hit him with my my three wall clearing. Oh, I'm not, I'm not scared of this. I don't need to use any relic. No relic, no alt for that. I think he's just running. Yeah, I'm not catching a Bakasura with a full passive. You know what I mean? He gets so much move speed and attack speed from that thing. Like Bologna. Also, defensive item here. I'm going to go regrowth. I think regrowth is just objectively better. Three minutes, so treasure chest spawned. But they spawned over here. Which is fine. Um... Probably waiting at red, to be honest. Oh, he's not. As long as he goes for red and not my blue, I'm happy here. If he goes for my blue, I'm sad. Yeah, I'm cool with this. You can have red, just give me my blue. I feel like... As Aphrodite... Not only does the cooldown help tremendously, but obviously the mana regen helps tremendously, because I am spamming. At every corner of my life, I'm spamming. 
All right, we got both treasure chests. I might be able to do his blue. He's a little, he's a little low. I mean, I don't know. I always feel like Aphrodite three should have Kukulk and alt um, hitbox where it does a little bit of damage behind you. Perfect. Perfect. Stun two combo. Oh, you're not lazy back in. You're not. Hello, you're not. I missed. Bird. You're not lazy back in here. We don't lazy back. Take your time. Walk a little bit further back. Be safe about it. And then back. All right. I see no reason to be scared yet. Once that, if that's a hastened katana, then I have very much a reason to be scared. To With regrowth and sprint, I should be able to outrun it though. I'm hoping. Uh, can you outrun a hastened ever? Especially with a Bacchus Hura passive? Actually, I don't know. It might be worth it for me to... Uh... What is it called? To buy root sprint. Just like right now. Before. Oh, hello. Before he gets any bright ideas with the Hasten Katana, I might just... Just chuck a root sprint in here. Damage. My healing is fine. I can take these trades right now. Once he has hastened, I can't because he just sticks on me so well that I'm going to have to be safer about my play. But at the moment, I can be kind of cringy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm healing so much. It really doesn't matter right now. I land a couple autos. I can burst him here. I missed. Oh, oh. Oh, that's that had to be close. He's not lazy back in this time. I think he got spooked from the last lazy back. Which is great for me. I mean. Actually, is that great for me? Him lazy backing gives me an open opportunity to maybe catch him. Catch him slipping. Maybe it's bad for me that he learned his lesson. <laughs> I was thinking it's great for me that I taught someone a lesson, but maybe I'm the one that got taught a lesson. <laughs> I mean, my damage is otherworldly right now. He's getting clapped up. Two combos, 20% health left. I'm not going to pick up red. I don't care about red. I, I literally, like I've been saying all game, only care about blue buff. Um... I'm a thousand gold ahead. That's pretty crazy, man. All right. I think we start going our healing build now. I think we go like CAD shield or a rod of ass claps. I don't know where he is. I found him. Oh, he beads. Oh God. Oh God, the hastened. Oh God, the hastened. Perfect. Oh wait. Perfect. That clears wave, right? Yeah, it does. Just get the minions in here so I can take tower. The movement speed is so good for me, man. The movement speed is so good for me. I guess I just max my... My alt? Do you ever max your alt? Is that crazy? What does this do? Successfully hitting an enemy god with base attacks and abilities provides stack of 6% healing dealt that is consumed on the next heal. Eight stacks? They only gain one stack per god hit per ability. But it works on autos too, right? Yeah, base attack and ability. Um, okay, that's actually kind of good. What is six times eight? Forty? No, 
No, six times eight is not 40. Five times eight is 40. <laughs> I guess that's literally just 48 then, huh? Smart. Um, I mean, increasing your next heal by nearly 50% seems kind of freaking nuts. What does this one do? You gain 10 magical power per 10% of missing health. That's actually really good. Oh. Bonk. Yeah, that's actually really good. I might go that one and then go the other one after. I could... There's also the... Oh, no. Maybe those are physical items. Cad Club. Yeah, I think that's a physical item. Okay, though. I've never used these items before. I'm interested to see if they're like effective or not. 70 power, 15 base pen. Does this have base pen? No, this is the only one with base pen. Allied gods within 30 units have 10% increased CDR. Oh. Wait, so I can get red buff then. I didn't know that this gave me 10% cooldown. Am I alive? Oh, it's in shambles. I'll never recover. Damn it. Wait, I'm coming. Stop. Okay, never mind. I tried to be greedy and now I'm buffless. Oh, unlucky, man. Uh. I don't know what I want, Second Relic. I still think that that Horn Shard is going to be crucial for me. Your Being annoying. Under I still think that Horn Shard is going to be useful to me. So I'm thinking I don't need to get rid of it just yet. And I do really want to upgrade my, uh, my Sprint to Sprout. Don't know if I'm in a great position here. I mean, I'm not that scared, I guess. He's going to go back, get Toxic Blade right now. Once he gets Toxic Blade... Mm, I'm a little nerve. I'm a little nervy. I don't have a lot of power, do I? The max cooldown, which is nice. Hello. Okay. By no means are you allowed to do that ever again. Alright, that hit him. I'm doing like kind of a significant amount of damage. Well, significant isn't exactly correct. But I'm certainly doing damage. Where are you going? Oh no. I messed that up. Something fierce. I want to fight him. I don't want to let him get close to minions. If he eats a minion, I'm in trouble. Oh, he's coming. He's right here. I saw you. Oh, I still see you. No way. He's got one HP, dude. Actually one HP. Bro, his health must have been grayed out. It had to have been grayed out. That's crazy. Do a little bit of damage. A little, a little 400 to the Phoenix. Not horrible. I have to fight him here because I want red buff. Please tell me you're not coming over here. Thank you. Yo, what if he, what if he just giga chat and ran straight to full demon? He just ate my blue buff. Don't act like I didn't hear that. You actual demon. Did you eat your own? No, you jumped straight to mine. Uh, okay. I mean, I really, oh, hello. Nice. Nice. 
How much is my next item? 2450. I have 2800. All right, let's go back. Let's grab that. Hopefully that makes a difference in these fights because I am not feeling confident right now. I will keep my horn shard for one more fight, I think. Depending on how this next fight goes, I'm either going to grab a uh, horrific because he doesn't have sprint or I'm going to be grabbing a Aegis because if he ults me and I need to age just the true damage aspect of it. It might be useful. I mean, it doesn't sound that useful to be honest, but maybe you never really know. And then last item, I'm probably just going to go poly. I need a lot of help taking objectives. Hello. Yeah. I mean, my damage is not great. Well, I don't know. What's the cooldown? 10 seconds. Yeah. I mean, for a 10 second cooldown, that definitely didn't feel very good. He probably just ran past me to go clear, huh? Or ran away to back. Or did none of the above. He's doing bull demon. I don't know. I'm glad. Oh my good golly goodness. All right, there's the Aegis. I think I'm I'm definitely comfortable here. I'm definitely comfortable here. Basically was able to uh kite him around with the sprout and the never ending fear of killing him. Oh he beads. He beads. Honestly, good play, dude. Well, it's not a good play. You didn't need the beads for that, but like if he didn't beats, he died, but the play itself was pretty poor because I don't think, um, I don't think he needed to make that kind of a crazy play where he had to jump on me and beads in order to keep his Phoenix. He could have just backed like, I'm not, I'm not chasing him around or anything. Oh, by the way, if you don't know the, uh, if you play smite every 30 minutes until August 18th, hello, that scared the face out of me. Every 30 minutes until August 18th, if you're playing Smite, you have a chance to win 10,000 gems. Every 30 minutes, they're giving away 10k. So, get your game time in, boys. I'm cool with that. I mean, you're not, you're not going to come over here, right? Oh, he came over here? I only need the two the big minions. I don't really care about the littles. Let's drop the blue simply because I don't want him to eat off of it. I don't want him to heal. He got a relic dagger. I just realized that's an insane counter to my horrific. He's an he's an intellectual. Alright, whatever. I'll just cringe take Phoenix over the course of multiple attempts by autoing it. Damn, I feel like Horrific's a dumbass play now. Is that procs every 30 seconds? I have no other slow in my kit than Horrific. So I speed him up. Well, I don't know. Is it even that bad? Because I speed him up, but I still lower his attack speed by 25% and his damage dealt by 10%. And that debuff stacks based on how much damage I'm dealing. Like my combo will increase up to what? 40% attack speed reduction and 25% reduced damage. Like that's pretty nuts. Yeah, you speed up, but do I even care? I don't think I care. Oh, you're dead. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, lowering his damage by that much is so insane that I don't even think that... Uh... Oh, I have dual orb. What am I doing? 
I could have taken this while taking very less damage. But that's fine. I could maybe do some some Titan damage here, actually. Maybe like a thousand. Maybe like a thousand. 7k down to what? Uh, 5.5 and then you heal what like 400 so yeah it's about it's about a thousand sticking damage that's not bad all right don't hit me oh my god okay okay that was terrifying I'm gonna use my three for the regrowth proc because i want to get the red buff please don't yoink my buff Okay. Um. Holy shit! I really thought I was dead there. I really thought dead. Um. I don't know where he is. Right, that was pretty terrifying. I like completely neglected the fact that he could just beat my ass if I don't play carefully. Oh, that's fine. That doesn't matter. I All Bull Demon does is deactivate my tower, which actually has no effect. Um, I have a 3k pot now and a 500 pot and a red buff. So my damage is never going to get better than this. My healing, by the way, all game, because of these items, have been insane. Like, <coughs> I feel very strong. Even though he... Oh, my fuck. Alright, let's pop the horrific gear. Lower the damage output while he's ulting. Come on, just be... Be understandable, Sam. Be understandable. You have an ult. Don't be stupid about it. Perfect. Perfect. You have an alt. Do not be dumb about it. I had to hold my alt really close because I need him to be aggressive there in order to, to want to continue the fight. Because obviously I'm going to win the fight, especially if we're backing out, you know, going back and forth. But um, if I continue it making it... If I continue the fight and making it seem like it's an all-in, then he's going to want to keep fighting. So that's, that's what I did. I made it seem like it was an all-in fight between us two until the very last second where I held the ult. And I just like slowly, I kind of like wiggled my way out of his basic attack range, but still in range enough to be almost basic attack. You know, it was like that really fine line. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The lifesteal... Or the, the healing, the healing afro build. Really good. His relic dagger play, or uh, I'm sorry, his wing blade play is was really smart. I really enjoyed that. That was good good stuff. He waited right until I bought Horrific to do it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.